Hello everyone, my name is James and today we'll be walking through the standard OPA procedure for a surgical cricothyroidotomy. Remember, when performing a surgical airway, there are three approved methods by the committee of T-Tri-C. Whichever method you prefer, it's important that you remain proficient and you practice prior to uh, performing this procedure on an actual casualty. Once the surgical crike is indicated, you will start by preparing your equipment, inflate the bulb with 10 cc's of air, looking for any leaks. Make sure you have your scalpel close by. And then you'll use the head tilt chin lift method to visualize the larynx. From there, with your non-dominant hand, you'll place the larynx in between your thumb and first finger, and then palpate for the cricothyroid membrane. Once you have your site selected, you'll prep with either an alcohol wipe or iodine. And again, stabilizing, this can move quite a bit. So you need to apply a little bit of pressure and make sure that the head is nice and extended. From here, we'll make a vertical incision from the top of the cricothyroid membrane to the bottom. And so as you apply enough pressure, that skin will naturally flay open. And then you'll be able to see the cricothyroid membrane. With that, you'll make a horizontal cut and you will place your trach hook. And I'm using anterior pressure to open up the trachea, so that way you can visualize the trachea. From there, you'll grab your crike, place it in, pushing posteriorly, and as I insert the tube into the trachea, I remove the crike hook. Once the crike is inserted, you'll go ahead and inflate the tube with 10 cc's of air. So once your tube is in place and you've inflated the cuff, suction to ensure that the lumen is clear. You look at the tube and confirm if you have misting on the tube or bilateral rise and fall of the chest if the patient is unresponsive. If you have someone to help you, you secure a BVM and use a stethoscope. And you'll listen to the epigastric region as well as visualize bilateral rise and fall of the chest and listen to both lung fields. Once you've confirmed a compliant airway, you'll go ahead and secure tube to the patient. And once you've secured your crank, you will reassess your intervention, monitor SPO2, and document all casualty care on a DD Form 1380.